bring it back to me. Hey guys, it's Nova and we're back on The Nova Show. We're actually in my home recording studio. I've been busy working on my new album, The Red Light District, but I wanted to take some time out to talk to you guys, my family, the Freedom Family. The Nova Show is designed to help you guys at home produce and record better quality music, build your fan bases, and hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two with my tips and tricks. Through The Nova Show, I'm hoping to create a great music community here at Freedom. If you guys have any comments, any questions, please do not hesitate. Leave a comment below. I do check it. People always ask me, where do you record your music? Who mixes and masters your music? And who shoots your videos? Truth is, I do everything on my own, in my own recording studio, with my own equipment. Uh, hopefully through the Nova Show, I can teach you guys some tips and tricks that can help you guys do the exact same thing at home. So in today's music news, I want to highlight Tyrese. For the first time in his career, he has a number one album with 77,000 units sold. Now the reason why I'm highlighting Tyrese is because he records most of his music in his own home studio. Not many people notice. But it just goes to show you, you don't have to be in a big million dollar studio to create great records. So shout out to Tyrese. So in today's episode, I'm going to be highlighting home recording studios. Okay? Now you have to have the basics for a great home recording space. Okay? And before we get to all the complicated things, I want to start off with your computer and your software, also known as a DAW. So my first tip is to build or buy your computer based on what software you're looking to run in your home studio. My personal home studio is built on an iMac computer with 2.7 Intel Core i5 processors. I also have 4 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig internal hard drive. Now with that being said, you can also go higher with the specs, but I always recommend to have at least 4 gigs of RAM. I tend to go a little crazy with my plugins, but my computer handles it like a champ. I also recommend storing your music sessions on an external hard drive and not your internal, as storing sessions on the same hard drive that is running the session can cause issues. Running your session on an external hard drive will ease the power strain on your computer. Now let's get to the software. Again, depending on the computer, there are many, many options. On the low end, you have basic programs like CoEdit, Sony Vegas, and such. And on the higher end, you have Cubase, Logic, and Pro Tools. I personally use Pro Tools, and I always recommend the software. Now it does get a little pricey, with the basic version costing about $1.99, and the full version costing about $5.99, and that's just the software. Now with Pro Tools and any other software, you're going to need an interface. This is how you get the sound from your microphone to your software and or computer. Pro Tools has their own line of interfaces, which also vary in pricing. I recommend getting their Mbox product, which is on the low end, or Digi003, which is what I have. And that's a little bit on the higher end. Now with the LE versions, you get a maximum of 32 tracks, audio tracks, as opposed to the HD version, which is a 256 audio tracks, which is pretty high and you're not going to be using nearly as much. So as you can see, my home studio is pretty great. I have a lot of expensive software and recording gear. But I started with the basics first. So don't worry, you guys will also get there as well. And with my help, I hope that I can make it easier for you guys. So that's it for today's episode. I wanted to keep it real basic and just touch on the basic steps needed for a home recording studio. Until next time, you guys take care. I know several of you have asked me regarding my music. The SoundCloud link is below. You guys can go there, get any song you want off that page and add it to your videos. As part of the Freedom Family, that's my gift to you guys. Go ahead and use it. EMG. I bring it back to me. Back to me.